Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what we're going to do is another canvas abstract. Uh, I d did two others prior to this and I got a lot of emails asking to do more and showing me pictures uh, on Facebook and oh my gosh, you guys are just awesome. So this is 8x10 um, and all we're going to do is use purple purple and white, two colors, that's it. Very easy, and then pick a stencil. I'm gonna use Pais a Paisley stencil, as you see here. But you guys can make your own. I have a stencil here, um, which you can just use a punch and you know, just a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, once this is painted on, sometimes when I do these in paper, I like to just put some acrylic paint or Mod Podge or white school glue, whatever, um, just to kind of, you know, get more uses than one out of it. Cause it'll build up nice with the acrylic paint. So you can do something like that. Like I said, I'm just going to use Paisley. This is perfect purple from folk art. It looks a little bit more blue. Yeah. The paper, the, the label looks purple, but when you get to that it's like, nah, not really, but it is purple. So you can use blue, uh, there we go. You can use blue, you can use red, you can use orange, you can use whatever colors that you want, because what we're going to do is I'm just going to use my roller poly and we are going to get this all over our canvas. And I'm just rolling this out. I want that texture on there. I might need more, but what I'm going to do is spray a little water. Now, if you guys want to see the other two abstract uh, paintings I did, uh, I will link them down below. And at the end of the video, uh, there's two versions. There's a long version where I talk through it and it's regular, you know, time. Um, and then I did to uh, music. I sped it up. So if you don't want to sit and watch, you know, a longer video, which is like 45 minutes or longer, um, you know, you can just watch the short version. Hopefully this one won't take as long. Just been busy and got a lot going on. Yesterday I was in a terrible, terrible, terrible flare up. Um, my fibro lately is competing with the RA. It's like, okay, you know, um, where'd my paper towel go? Let me use this one. So, you know, I did, um, I want to do the Inktober, but honestly, um, I did one yesterday and it was just a very basic spider. Cause we have a spider living, this is ridiculous, but we have one of those spiders living, um, on my garage door and nobody, we won't touch it. Not out of fear. But because, um, let me get this cleaned off in case I need it. Um, not out of fear, but we just want to leave it live. It got its web and catches the little bugs in there and does its thing. So I was just sitting here and I was like, oh, let me just draw a spider real quick. No big deal. It wasn't the best thing in the world. It was what I could do at the time with my hands. And of course, people had to leave me nasty comments or um, thumbs down, though. I just don't understand it. I guess people don't take their time to, I guess people like find the videos. I know you all go through this. You make videos. We all have, I don't get them that often, but like, do I have to say at the beginning of every video, I'm in a really bad flare up and I'm really struggling. So people will just stop. And I think it's because, like I said, it's bothering me because of the medication and I'm not feeling good. And I'm just like, oh, please stop. <laughs> and I'm not whining or complaining. I, I don't really care for the most part. I just think I'm very uh, extra sensitive. Now I'm not going to keep this back like this. I'm going to go over it one more time with the purple, but I want to get that's where I really want this dry because I want to get um, some of this texture without really putting texture. If I can't decide whether I want to put texture on with the paisley to make it more 3D or not, I have to decide. So let's 
that's what I'm going to do with that. And like I said, it looks a mess now, but that's okay. I'm going to just ploop it around and do a very quick and easy. Let's see if it adds the texture that I want. And when you're painting in my experience, and I always tell you guys this, like go both ways because especially when you have texture, because that way, you know, it's getting all the little milk, 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 milk and cookies. That's what I'm craving. I haven't had milk and cookies in months. Um, still doing keto been oh, cheating just a little bit here and there. Usually on Fridays when we go to my sister's is the day we cheat, but, uh, still doing it and doing all that fun stuff. I think tomorrow the video on the other channel is going up. If you're interested in following our, uh, I don't want to say life videos, but you know, more, 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 uh, lifestyle, I guess. I'll put the link down below and at the end, so you can go check it out, subscribe. It's going to be different than mine, my channel here, but okay. So leaving this like this. I like that it gave like this background, like I did a couple different colors and I'll show it up close. I hate that it's showing blue and not showing purple, but what are you going to do? Now you really want to make sure this um, layer dries and acrylic paint dries so fast. And if you don't have a heat gun, grab your hair dryer. And if you don't have a hair dryer, go to your local Goodwill uh, thrift store, which you love, and you can get a hair dryer for a couple bucks um to use for drawing if you want to a lot of people do i have i love my heat gun because i like to emboss and all but totally up to you okay i think we'll be good all right so now i want to use these let me put him back Ugh. okay so i don't know if i want to put paste down texture paste I know I have one. Oh, well, where is my texture paste? Where's my texture paste? I know I have one, but it's not here. It has to be out in my thing. So maybe we won't just because, but you can. Yeah, definitely can. And I wish I would have done, I would have made, um, oh, is it over there? Um, I, I wish I would have, um, yeah, that's almost not right there. Okay, I'm just going to give this another hit, and then I'm going to grab this paste over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm freezing. I don't know what the heck's going on with me today. This is Bulk Art Texture Paint in Snow White. And that's what it looks like. Now, this is obviously white, right? Um, but you definitely can color it. I've colored it. I've done all kinds of stuff. I must have used up my other one. Okay. So, I have this. And let's try. I don't necessarily want these to be like boop, boop, boop. I kind of want them everywhere. So, maybe. Do we want that one? See, I'm digging this one better. Maybe we'll just start here. I'll take it to like, see here where I could see the, um, what's underneath the canvas. I want to just move it up enough that we're kind of at the edge. I mean, you don't have to, be, I'm always at the edge. Um, you don't have to be, you know, spot on or anything like that, but do your best. Okay. So now, 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 now. Let's take our doohickey. You can use a credit card, which I thought I had sitting here, but apparently I don't. You can take a piece of cardboard and do that. Um, you know, use whatever you have. Oh, gosh, my brain. All right, so I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Mix it up. All right. So I'm going to go in. I don't have to do all of them, but, and you see it smears nice. 
but here is where I'm what I'm gonna do. I just decided why. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna scrape off to get in the areas, hold it down. I like to go back and forth because it does help. And there you go. Came out white, but here's what we're going to do. Okay. Now I can, this is what I love is I can just go in and I made a mess. I made a mistake. Just wipe it off. And here's how I do it. Just get it off. Put you down there. I take a little bit of water. Water. What I do with my water? I gotta hide it from the cats over here so they can't get up there. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here, and then wipe. Now you're gonna see it's gonna take that purple off if the purple's not dry. That's all right, because that's the easier part, isn't it? Just go back in your paint, or you could leave it like that. Whatever you know. I get weird sometimes and be like, oh, I love that organic look. Maybe I'll just leave it organically. Just make it go a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put that in my thing in case I make another mistake, which you know I might. Okay, so what I want to do is I want these to be on here, obviously, and I want some purple. So here's where. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take, move my favorite pencil out the way. I think I've had that pencil since I started YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to add some purple. I'm going to take some of my texture paste and mix it in. And I'm going to color it. Now it's going to make it obviously lighter because this, because it's white, I want to make the purple lighter. And this will do a twofer, which means I get the texture paste and color like a white. Okay, so you see how we're very much lighter. And I'm going to take, let's do, I'll do this one here. I'm going to move this canvas a little bit like that. And. Do I want it? Yeah. I'm going to spin it this way. So it's almost at the edge. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to take and I'm going to scrape. Take and scrape. Come on. Oh, my dog is at it again. <laughs> it's been quiet here. <laughs> That's what it's like. I like it. Now again, you can use any stencil, any colors, anything that you have. Yep, that's what I wanted. Maybe I want some circles too. I don't know. I know this is a little weird angle. There. Okay. So I just want these everywhere with no, I'm going to need more texture paste. Now you see this one had more texture paste left on it. So I'm just going to use it to my advantage here and use and do both. Might need a little more. It's okay. Oh, didn't even see that. Yeah. I have been, I mean, this is stuff that, like I said, I was asked, you know, to do, but this is stuff I love doing, not on camera too. Like I, this is stuff I normally do. I'm also going to be, um, 
I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video or not. If I do it in this video, you'll see it. Probably not. Maybe the next video I'm going to put up my Patreon uh, supporters because uh, I'm so very thankful. And I have a bunch of new... Um, now here's where you could play a little bit more. If we take more of this, um, I have some Patreon stuff going up, some, how do you say, uh, perks and all that kind of stuff. Soon, very soon. Okay, so I'm just not going to put that much in. If it's too purple, I can uh, add more of the texture paste, but I think this is going to be good because I don't care if it's lighter or darker. You know what I mean? Like I don't want it to be the same color as the background. That's the only thing. So you can see this has a tinge of the purple to make it more. I might want a little bit more because I mean just that much. Stirring it, stirring it, pretending like I'm cooking again like my nephew okay all right so now and you can see it's lighter so I'm just gonna mix it in here and a little bit there and now I can see I did a little bit in this one I don't want that so I will scrape that out. This looks like it is good. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Leave that there. And I'm just gonna wipe that off like we did the other ones. Here I go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Is that it? And then a little bit right there. Take my paper towel. You can tell it's starting to dry a little bit more, but what I'm doing with my nail like that, just so some of that white shows underneath. Okay. To make it look a little bit more raggedy because I am a raggedy girl. Now what I want to do is I want to take and do some circles. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet, but right now I'm going to take, let's do a little, do I want a little bit darker? No, I'm going to do just white and not next to it. I'm going to do it just a few white here, just to kind of like balance that I had a white there and I don't care if they come up half or not. I just want some different textures. This. Okay. See, just adding a little bit of something. Maybe I'll even do with some stars. I don't know. Don't know. Maybe. Should I? I don't know. See, I love when this happens with like it's half and kind of weird. I'm okay with all the dotting around with the paint peeling up. I think that this, now I will say when I use texture paste, modeling paste, molding paste, uh, I do most of the time clean off my stencils. Okay. Um, if, it, if I'm using this, if I'm using ink, as you can tell, I just, I don't care. I use the ink and I just let it dry. Sometimes though, this can affect the way your stencils are and um, which, Hey, if you like that kind of thing, then great. If not, then, you know, but can you see it's more for the idea? I like doing things, but can you see how you can just pick a stencil and just add some white and do, and why I did the texture in the background the way I did is because it shows through as well. You know what I mean? So I don't know how good this is going to work at the moment. Cause I need to, firm it up with tape, but let's just do a quick swipe. Look at that. I don't necessarily want these bumps there. So I'm just going to kind of 
Oh, anyway, this is what I want to ask you guys. Have you guys started watching um, Forever? It's on Amazon Prime. It is with Fred Armiston and uh, Maya Rudolph, and it's about a married couple. Um, we've watched one or two of them, and I'm digging it so far. It's just about being married <laughs> and the same kind of gig over like every single day, every like the same routine and all, but it's funny and it's real and I dig it and I'm sure they'll take it off because I dig it. Always seems to happen. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I didn't know if anybody started watching it. That and and we like now you see when this dries it'll harden this so it'll give it more you know the next time I'll use the back and then it'll have more stability I don't know if I could get these little ones kind of but I don't know if they show up maybe I'll do a stamp maybe that's what I'll do. Cause these, I mean, you can't really tell that they're there, but anyway, you see, I got that. Now I think what I'll do is just do, I'll do this side, but I only want a little bit of the star. I don't necessarily want it all. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. Anybody know who that is? Okay. So stars, stars, stars. Oh gosh, I tell you what, this fibro is driving me nuts today. Okay, so I'm gonna quit whining. And what else do I need? Something down here. Maybe I'll just go with the little baby one right there. You know? So there you go. Okay. So let's do the little baby one. I don't want to necessarily go in the corner again. So, oh, here comes uh, Rocco, my dog Rocco. Enjoyable. Now they're all going to come in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that did good. I like Paisley. It's kind of why I'm doing this. Now, I might. I don't know. I guess if I come back, you'll see it and you'll know I did. I'm thinking as I'm looking at this, remember how I put the gold foil in before? wonder if I used silver on some of these. I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know if that's something I want to do. All right, but what I am going to do is put this here and go in. Yeah, so let me know if any of you have watched that. See how I just kind of real quick zoop. Um, cause I, I mean, I dig it. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's first season and sometimes first seasons, all right, we're, we're not going to fight over the bone. We're just going to, mommy's just going to sit and, and do this. Um, sometimes, you know, when they start a, like a new show, it's like, oh, sometimes, you know, it takes a, a, a minute for them to, you know, get in the groove and all. So, uh, I'm waiting on that. And I think... My dog. I'm so sorry. Very sorry. I'm only going to put like a little piece of this in. All right. I'm going to hold it and scrape. And scrape. Boop. Yeah. Okay. But what I did here, I'm going to have to gonna have to get that off because then it's gonna distort the shape a little bit what else are we watching oh we are so in love with Bosch on Amazon where we just started the fourth season because we have been every night that Emily works late or is out late or whatever she's not here to, <laughs> she's not here to tell us what we're allowed to watch she doesn't like it so we watch it while she's working and stuff like that so or she'll go for boyfriends um, so we've been obsessed and we were watching the heck out of it. So that's a really good one. It's called Bosch. If you don't already know, now you know. Spira James. My dog. Okay. 
and I'm liking this color. I'm not hating it. Just add in little bits, little bits and bombs. And I'm not gassy, it's my chair. It's just did a uncomfortable squeak if you heard it. That's me changing the thing. Okay. Now I think I can do some iridescent, maybe stamps of a stars inside. I, I dig stars. Stars are one of my favorite things as well as hearts, but I don't think this will call for hearts today. Do you? Nope. All right, so maybe we'll do a little bit more of that and like do I like I like grungy stuff what I think my next one's gonna be a grungy one by the way for anybody who wants to know I gotta do grunge I love grunge grunge is me maybe I'll do a big one big star I mean big uh, flower right here Go over that little baby star yeah all right okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this. I'm going to clean up. But what I'm going to show you is see how we did this? I'm going to take this and run it over because you see paper gets wet and then what, right? Just over this. So it dries, and when it dries, it'll be a little bit more sturdy, and then I can do this to the other end. I'm gonna lay you there. And then let's just scrape this up. Okay. I don't need him anymore. And I have my water. I love that this is glass underneath me, but I used to do this as well on my, um, craft mat you do it wherever I just give it a little quick spray and a quick wipe and you can do this on a, another canvas you can do this on paper you can uh, you know so you're not wasting product so much because look you do get and then wipe the other side and that's all I do with these I don't spend extra amounts of time playing around just trying to get all this little textures off but you see I'm doing this on purpose but then see on another canvas you get some deliciousness but right now I'm just gonna do this I could I my daughter's in the bathroom right now taking a shower so me getting in there to clean these right now is not gonna happen take that there and take my paper towel and give it a good wipe. Now I'm going to be doing something with these paper towels um, for like another at home kind of thing. Maybe I'll do it in the grungy one to show you. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't usually throw my paper towels away. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it like this. And then I, I just lay it here to dry. Now let me show you. <laughs> This scrapes. I know you guys keep asking for updates and I'm gonna do an update. But this will get, you know, you gotta clean it off a little more than I am right here. But, where's my other? You can see, a lot of work. But I'm doing it. So yeah, so Bosch and, um, forever I think it's called yeah because I always go forever ever forever ever does anybody know where that's from I say it all the time it's ridiculous I think I'm just getting old getting old and repeating myself singing words to songs that don't exist can't be the only one right <laughs> all right so then that can dry as well I will put the lid on this and put that back there because now I have, I must've used my other one up. I'm going to take this and I don't know what way I'm going to hang it, but it's really not going to matter. Where is my stamp of a star? 
and I'll probably find it when we're done. So that isn't going on right now. Because what did I do with it? I don't know, but I'll find it. It's just not there at the moment. So we're going to dry this real quick. Do our best to dry it, rather. This is 30 minutes right now, so I will probably quicken this up in a video as well. So for those of you who get to this point, that's what the other video is at the moment. It's going to be a speed up. is all I'm going to do on that, but, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this dotting tool and I think I'm going to, let's see what I got. What do I have in my hand? I know I have iridescent, right? Where did that come? I'm not real sure. This is glacier blue, which I mean, really, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter too, too much. Green might be a little too much though. But these are those that really don't have much. They're like called opalite, and they are from their interference ink. Who makes it? Arctic enamel is the name. It's called opalite. I don't know. Let's see how these work. You can see. Oh gosh, I use I use them a lot. I'm gonna go in and see if this works. Like I said, these might not even have anything left in them. A little bit. Yeah, you can see. Oh, you can see that on the camera. Okay. Just something that like adds a little bit in the corner there. Of like you look at it and you're like, hmm. I think I'm going to do green too, though. You can use a Q-tip. You don't have to have a circly pokey thing. This is a, uh, I know it's plaid, plaid folk art enamels. Eight, three eighths. I don't know. I can't see them. Blind is a bad. But I'll just rinse it out. I'm, I'm going to use it. Uh, there's some things I want to make. See, I can see on my monitor where they are. I don't know if you can see on your monitor, but can you see like these around there? You can see <clears throat> my dog's going to choke now. Why not? <laughs> what are you going to do? They're my loves. They're my animals and they want to be in here fighting over a bone. Then who am I to say no? Let me know down below how many of you have dogs, cat. I have dogs, cats, and ferrets. All rescues, but, um, well, the ferrets are Emily's. They're not rescues. I mean, she rescued them from a pet store because we were like, oh, my gosh. They didn't treat them very well in their cages. But uh, the rest of my animals, dogs and cats, are all fostered uh, by Dave and I. And these are the ones that uh, a lot of people just didn't want because they had something wrong with them. That's why they're so old. They were, like, overbred and blah, blah. I'm not getting into all that, but let me know down below if your animals have to be in here. That's why I have to hide my one water because my cat will come in here, get up on the desk, do her little sniffing, knocking bottles over. Maybe she finds something to bat around and then goes for my paint water. <laughs> so I have to be very careful because I don't want her to get sick or hurt. Okay. I'm good with the blue. I wonder what this is like on white. Let's try it. Can't see it like on white, can you? No. Mm -mm. 
crazy, but I'm going to clean it off. Let's see about the green. I don't know if I will put greens on here, but we're going to do one just to see. Now, this is obviously one that I did not use a lot. I think I have a few of these somewhere, but let's see. Oh, green, but it kind of is coming up blue. It's okay, though. Just a couple. If I overlap, I'm okay with that. Okay. And one down there. All right. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to lift it up so you can see it. Oh, gosh, my head. Okay. So let's see. You see how you have, see those dots like underneath? Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Yep, you can see I overlapped, but I'm okay with that. So when that's on the wall and the light hits it, oh gosh, I got to dig out my other ones because these are fantastic. I also have other brands, like I have gold and, you know, different uh, colors. So these are just like interference paints, like the uh, ones you can get from Deco Art and Golden. And I even think I have them from Folk Art. I got to look. But yeah, so I'm just going to dry this and we're going to be done with it. I'm going to coat it with the uh, extreme glitter, I think, but I need it all to be dry before I do it because it will um, make everything smear and nobody wants it to smear. At least I don't. But that, this is it. This is it so far. Um, and I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Once I get it uh, done, I will put a picture of it on Instagram once I get it glittered, which won't be for a bit. But I like it. It's very simple. You can vary, have different variations of how dark you want. Like you can see this is white, and then this is much lighter. It's a dark, do you know what I mean? Like so it goes everywhere. And like I said, everything is going to be sparkly and shiny, uh, which I like. And I might even, um, I don't know if I'm gonna put resin on it, but I was thinking like, oh, if I put the glitter and then resin, but that might be too much shiny. I don't know yet. And I won't know, but yeah, so I'm digging it. I'm not hating it. Like I said, two colors. How do you go wrong? You just play. I like showing you guys what, you know, different ways to use things. Um, quickly, like I said, you saw this, but you can use a Q-tip. You can use um, a makeup sponge, do squares. You can use a cup. Maybe you have, you know, like the little cups. You can use this side. You can use this side. There's all kinds of fun things, which I have a video going up about these. But anyway, um, so you can do a bunch of different things. You don't have to do circles. You don't have to do stars. You don't have to do any of this. Um, you could do hearts. I, I showed in many videos, and I'm sure we all remember from being young, that you can just take a piece of paper and fold it in half, make it watercolor paper or something a little sturdier if you want, or use your scrapbook paper that you don't, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. But cut a heart out. Use that as your stencils. Do a different couple different sizes. That would be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below. Uh, I'd appreciate it. I want to thank everybody who uh, does support me on Patreon. I'm very thankful. Um, and, uh, you know, just I'm going to have papers uh, emailed to you soon when I'm done uh, finishing up my mixed media papers. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. It will be a shorter video with music uh, if you don't. Well, you already watched this. So, um, but anyway, if you want to watch that as well. And, um, yeah, I think tomorrow I will do a grunge one because I love me some grunge. And like I said, all my information is down below. Go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, because I will post a picture of this when it's completely done with the glitter. And I love you guys so very much. Thank you for spending the last 40 minutes with me out of your life. You guys don't know how grateful I am. I can't believe that you, you take time out of your day. And I just found my star. Um, take time out of your day to uh, spend with me. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.